What is up fellow thunkers, Darren here from Thunkable X Tutorials and xtutorials.io here to talk about how are you going to create an app inside of Thunkable if you are a beginner. When it comes to making your app, it really comes down to four steps or four phases that you need to go through in order to, to make your app. So today, let's break down each of those four phases and look at it from a beginner's perspective. Step one is your idea. Can you believe that every app you've ever used started with an idea? Yes, every app, including your app, needs to have an idea. Whether you want to entertain people or challenge people through a game, or maybe you want to help someone complete a task. Whatever your idea is, it's going to influence the rest of your journey. So it's a good idea to kind of take a step back, think about a good idea, and then from there you can start spending the time and putting in the time to actually taking that idea and turning it into an app. Now once you have an app idea in mind, you can start taking the time to kind of think about how this app will uh, materialize itself into a design or a screen or multiple screens inside of an app. So step two is the, the design. You're designing the app. So you wanna ask yourself questions like, what kind of data do I need to collect? What kind of buttons need to be on the screen? Or how will my users do that? Once you start asking these questions, you wanna start kind of thinking about how all of these different features will be on the screen inside of the app. Now I encourage people to kind of draw this out before getting into Thunkable. So once you have it drawn out, drawn, drawed. Once you have it laid out on a piece of paper, you can actually go in and start designing it inside of Thunkable. Now the Thunkable screen is broken into, or the Thunkable design screen rather, is broken into three sections. You have the components section, you have the app preview section, and then you have the properties section. So the workflow for creating your app is to go to the component section, add it to the screen, look at it, if you need to adjust it, then you go to the properties section, you adjust the properties until in the app preview, it looks how you want it to look. Now, once you have your design laid out, it's, it's time to start moving on to step three, which is blocks. And blocks have a separate screen inside of Funkable. And basically what blocks are, they're, they're chunks of code. So rather than typing out letter by letter, number num by number, symbol by symbol, word by word, inside of code, they basically are, are blocks of code that you can drag and drop together. Now there are a ton of different blocks inside of Thunkable and they range from like changing colors to detecting when a button is pressed to saving data to a database to flashing a new image on the screen. Really the, the, the possibilities are endless once you start combining these together. And when you combine these together, that is what makes your app unique from everybody else's. Because every app that is made in Thunkable uses blocks, but the uniqueness and the differentiation comes from how everybody uses these blocks differently together to make a unique app. So once your app is all designed on the design screen and blocked out on the block screen, well, then you, you, have, you have an app. And so that leads us to step four, which is uh, really congratulating yourself on your app and then sharing your app with others. I always encourage people to share your app with uh, a few other people and get some initial feedback because a lot of times someone else might look at something and they don't really know what's in your brain and so there's often a disconnect and so getting some feedback from someone else is useful. In addition to that, uh, you get bug testing <laughs> because someone else might come in and do something that you never thought anyone would ever do and that could like totally break your app. And that would be a bug that you need to fix inside of your code. So other people looking at your app, so sharing your app with others can really kind of help your app be a more solid, stable app. And once you have this solid, stable app that is complete with the design and blocks and it's a great idea, well then you're actually ready to start publishing this app to the Google Play Store and the App App Store. And the beautiful thing about Thunkable is that you create this one app and it can be published to both places and uh, it's, it's really quite nice. So that is your app. So that's it. That is the idea to app process. And if it felt like we flew through that, it's because we did. And there's really a lot to talk about. And because there is a lot to talk about, 
I wrote this ebook on uh, going from idea to app. I called it my idea to app store guide. And because that was such a huge hit with a lot of people, a ton of people downloaded it and really enjoyed it, I actually went ahead and turned this ebook and enhanced it even more so that I could go more in depth on this process into a full fledged video course. And it is called Idea to App Accelerator. So in this course, I actually go through the process of, of making this app with you, showing you step by step, sharing all the tips and tricks that I can along the way. And if you're watching this video in the day that it was premiered, then we are in the middle of launch week for this video. And this course is closing this Friday. So whenever you're watching this video, if you're interested in the Idea to App Accelerator course, I have a full information page on this course that is available through the link that is below this video. It goes into way more detail than I can here. So good luck uh, with your app. I hope this, this helped you uh, see kind of the full process of going from idea to design to blocks to a real app. And I wanna encourage you again to check out the Idea to App Accelerator. I really think it will, it will help you if you were just starting out. This is the course that I wanted when I got started with Thunkable. So I'm happy that I'm able to provide this resource for you now. But uh, either way, I just wanna wish you one thing before you go, and that is my friend, Happy coding.